and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and in this particular screencast I'd like to show you how you can make menus for your games. Now there are many different ways of creating menus uh, and I'm going to cover two different ones using images to create a menu and using fonts to create a menu. Okay so let's actually run our app and you will see that uh, you know we we just have a basic background it doesn't really have anything so we are going to put the menu over here by the way if you're wondering what part is this this is part number six and if you haven't watched the previous parts I highly recommend that you do so because we are kind of uh, learning incrementally and building up on each part okay so here we go uh, creating menu okay so uh, in the in the init function what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a menu item image Now this is when I want to create a menu based on the image. I'm going to just say menu item 1 equal to CC menu uh, item image and then I can simply make uh, a menu based on the image. Now I already have two images addition.png which are part of my game Mathematicken. There and here we go. So we have uh, addition of PNG and addition of PNG. So item from normal image is which means that this is the image that will be displayed the first time and when you select the image it will change into this image. So at this point uh, I'm just keeping it basically the same. So two images are same and I'm not changing it. Other thing is the target. So I'm just going to say self. I'm, I just want to fire the uh, selector on the particular a layer because this self is considered a layer and then I'm just going to say load addition okay so this will be the selector or the method that will be invoked when you clicked on the addition image okay so let's go over there and say CC menu and create a menu CC menu and then menu with items and we can simply load up the items which is menu item 1 and second parameter is always well the last parameter is always nil you can leave it like that um, I do want to align my items in a vertical format with padding let's say give it a 5 padding and also this particular image is a little bit large for my screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say set scale and I already know that 0.7 will fit the criteria. Uh, if you run this, it might actually crash because it's going to look for the load addition selector or the method, which is not there. So simply go over here and say uh, load, oops, load addition, and then CC menu item image item. And over here, we can simply say load addition fired okay and at the end we can simply add self add child and we are going to add the menu to our layer let's build this and run this okay so we have this addition image as you can see displayed um, and I need to resize my editor so that you can see the if it's getting fired or not so now when I click on the addition it should here we go you can see this load addition fired so when I click over here you can see uh, I'm actually firing this event and I'm click clicking multiple times actually all right how about we go ahead and also add the for the subtraction so basically it's the same thing you are going to have to duplicate the code, give it a menu 2, give it a different image which is in this case a subtraction, a selected image, once again the subtraction, if you have some other image that you want to display you can choose that for the selected image, load subtraction will be the name of the method that will be invoked and we can simply go ahead and say void load subtraction and just to see I'm just going to put the ID over here which means that I don't really know who is firing the event what is the type okay 
and then I can say load subtraction fired. Um, here we go, it's your uh, menu item number two, and then we are going to add the second item right after the first menu item number two. So when you are adding a multiple item, this is where the align items vertically with padding uh, property or the method will take place or will come in handy because it will align them, align the items for you. Okay, so that it will look, uh, you know, okay, or in the vertical format. So addition, load addition fired, and when you click on subtraction, you can see a different method is being fired. Okay, but sometimes you don't. Uh, need the images what you need is uh, simple fonts for your you know for your game and you can actually do that so let's go ahead and say CC menu item font okay this uh, using this you can create font CC menu item font and then this is item from string and I'm going to say addition, which is a string that will be displayed. This will be self and selector will be load addition. Now, if I fire this, this is going to crash because load addition expects a type CC menu item image. So we can always say that, hey, pass in the ID because we don't really know the type. Okay. And uh, for the other one, which is the subtraction, we can do the same thing. Just copy paste the code. Oops, what did I do? <laughs> Didn't I? Okay, here we go. Copy paste the code. Let's change this to menu two. Uh, and this will be load subtraction. I think I have to close this out. Okay. Here we go, menu item two, menu item this and this. And let's run this. So now you can see, oh, well, let me actually fix that. But you get the idea, right? Now you can see that the, instead of the uh, images, now the fonts are being displayed, okay? And when you click on it, it's the same function. Uh, is being invoked or the same method load addition and load subtraction is being invoked uh, you can use now this font is like really plain font it's called marker felt and you can use many different type of fonts and in the next video in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make some, make some cool fonts by using glib designer and it's very easy to use those and not only that they are easy to create but they are very very good in performance if you are creating font using CC label or some old like that, and if you keep on changing the font or the label, then uh, you know there will be a very per big performance hit. Well, you know that's uh, we're going to discuss that in the next tutorial. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like the video, and I hope that this screencast will help you to create menus for your awesome games. Thank you very much.